Hi, it's Mimi, and I just wanted to share with you a haul I had at Paper Tray Inc. And this was um, back in February when I um, did some shopping. But I wanted to take some time to um, make some cards out of the stamps and dies that I bought so that you know you can see um, not only what I bought but you know how, how I put it to use. So first of all, um, one of the cards I want to share first is this card here. And this is a card I made um, for uh, Paper Tray Inks Make It Monday. And the challenge was to do some confetti cluster stamping. And if you can see there, um, the images are in the shape of an egg. and. So let me share with you the stamps and dies that I used to create this card. Okay, first of all, um, the stamp I used is this one here. Oh, sorry for the glare. And that's to create the um, confetti part in inside the egg. And this is the Hippity Hoppity set. And then here's also the egg die that I also bought um, together with this. And so there's that bird image, the little eggs, and then the Happy Easter. And then also what I had bought is this tag sale number three. And this die is what makes this shape with the um, little, I guess, indents along the side here. And then this flower here was made using this die and it's heart to heart number seven. I just wrote it there for my um, reference later on. Okay, so that's one of the cards I made. And then another card was this one here. And this one was made for the Paper Tray Ink March blog hop and this was based on an inspiration photo and for this card I used some you know of my older stamps but the new stamp that I used here is for this sentiment and that is from sorry this this uh, stamp set right here and this is the wet paint stamp set. Okay, oops, sorry for the glare. So, that's, that, that's the card I made for that one. And then, the next card I made is this card here. And it's a birthday card. And the technique I used was um, for a Make It Monday, and it's the stamping and mixing patterns. And so I used different stamp sets to create these three different patterns here and then for the sentiment that one is from my more recent purchase it's this one right here okay and this is the wonderful words birthday okay so I use that to make this card Okay, and then, let's see, I made this card here, and this one I just made for fun because I wanted to play with this stamp set. So the coffee images and the sentiment are from this set here, and it's, I think it's called Coffee Time. Oh no, I'm sorry. It's Heart to Heart number one. Okay, and this set, there's also a coordinating die, which I had bought also for this set. And so I used that to make this card. Okay, and then for this card here, it's a um, pretty simple card. And this was made for the Less Is More challenge blog. And for this card, I used 
this one right here. Oops. And it's for the graduate, this stamp set. Okay. So I had fun with that. And then there's a coordinating die. I think it's the Matt Stack one. Um, I already had that in my stash. Okay. And then this one right here. This is a card I made for the Make It Monday double partial die cutting. And then so these hearts, um, this heart here and this scallop heart here, I already had in my stash. So that's why I used to create this, um, now this focal point, and then also for this little um, embellishment here. And then the stamp set. I used here was to um, stamp this love you and this is you know heat embossed and this one was used let's see this one I used this one here and it's say it with style okay so I used that stamp set to create this and then the background was made using a background um, stamp by paper chain ink also okay and then I made this card here. This was a lot of fun. I really like this one. This is um, for a Simon Says stamp challenge, and it was to use um, pastel colors. So it's a very spring type of card. And for this, I used this um, new stamp set. It's called Phrase Play Number Six Stamp Set, and it, these are the um, these sentiments that go um, with this with the die, and the die um, looks like this. Okay, I think I'm going to use this a lot. This is a lot of fun, so I I just keep this together like this, so um, it doesn't I don't have to go searching for it so and then for the main image that's from one of my favorite stamp sets it's the pretty peonies so that's that card and then I made this a uh, birthday card and this was for a Simon Says stamp um, challenge as well and this is to uh, create a happy birthday card. So that's what I did and the stamp sets I used here is again the Say It With Style for the sentiment and um, for the background I like stamping on pattern paper so that's what I did for this and it's like the birds and this one here the bird in the bird cage and that came from this die I mean I'm sorry this stamp set called Love Birds okay And then I just um, used a lot of the pattern papers um, to decorate this card. That's that one. And then, um, more simply, I made this card. Um, and I needed to make a sympathy card. So this one is, is very simple. It's uh, you made using the... Um, the, the Sweet Life stamp set, that's to stamp the rose. And then the um, the sentiment came from this stamp set that I bought recently as part of the haul. And this is um, Keep It Simple Sympathy stamp set. Okay, oops, sorry. And then, last card I made is this one right here, and it's for um, a for, it's for the uh, block hop for the month of April and it's to use navy and pink so that's what I did here and again I used the, the sweet life to make the flowers to stamp the flowers and then um, matte stack one to um, to make the frame and for the frame I had embossed this in some um, Lindy Stamp Gang um, embossing powder which is a pink color 
And then this sentiment here was a stamp in a Boston white, and that came from this stamp set that I got. And it's Keep It Simple, Thank You stamp set. Okay, lots of uses for that. So that's the last card I made. And other st stuff that I had bought but I didn't um, get a chance to play with yet, I had bought these dies, and oh, I forgot to, to write down the name of this die. But it basically has these, um, I already die cut some of them. It's to, for these sentiments here for Christmas. So it's for peace, holiday, and merry. Okay, so three dies in this set. So I bought that. And in tune for Christmas, I also got this one here. And it's, I didn't take it out of the package yet. But it's big and bold holiday wishes. Okay. And then I also bought this one here. It's the um, countdown details. So I think this would be great for, um, you know, for December daily type of um, album or journal if I wanted to make one of those. So that's that one. And then this one as well for Christmas. And it's uh, Countdown to Christmas. Oops, sorry. Countdown to Christmas. So that's also for making mini albums. Okay. And then I also got this one here that I haven't had a chance to play with. And it's the Wonderful Words Teacher. Okay. So I got that too. And then this one here, this was part of the, um, the Moments um, planner set, I mean the the planner book, and it's um, the blog banner stamp set. And I'm thinking of using this to, um, you know, to help me organize my thoughts for for my blog. So hopefully this will help. And then um, last thing I got was this, and I haven't used this one yet. I opened it though. It's the Lux Foil Designer Papers and it's got these really pretty designs for um, that you can use to make the base of your cards. Okay. So that's it. That's my haul. And um, yeah, I appreciate you guys taking the time to watch. Okay. Thanks and have a great day. Bye.